What's going on guys? I'm Vista here and today I want to talk to you about shooting fundamentals. Some quick tips that may help you out in game. The first one we'll talk about is ADSing. The different ways that you ADS and when you fire actually have an impact on your uh, spread of your rifle. If you just come up and ADS and fire as you're going through that little animation, you're going to have a larger spread than if you ADS, steady up, and then fire. So let me show you real quick. Look at that spread. Now, if I take a second and pause just long enough to steady up the rifle, it'll have a different spread. Notice the difference? Just that split second. Look at the difference there. Now the same thing is true of coming out of a sprint. So if I'm sprinting up here and have an enemy up here and I'm gonna start shooting if I start shooting before I'm completely stopped I'm gonna have a different spread so I come up here sprinting up big spread now if I come up stop look at the difference come sprinting up coming out of a sprint actually that might have been a little close let me back up a little bit here Coming out of a sprint, look at the spread on that. Now, if I come up, stop, look at the difference. Definitely want to take that moment to pause. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section of fundamentals. All right, let's talk about the next fundamental, which will be bullet drop. Essentially what happens when you fire a bullet because of the loss of velocity and gravity pulling down eventually that round will hit the ground It's falling Just like an apple from the uh, the old apple tree um, So what do we do as most of us know we aim above our target to counter this so if I was to aim at these targets here and Just fire mid chest look at that. It's hitting the ground way in front of him Not doing us much good But if I get a good hold up here now I'm hitting my target. And of course, this isn't the best gun for sniping, but it illustrates my point. You saw how high I was holding over that target to hit it. I'm probably close to 200 meters out. And, you know, this really isn't a sniper rifle. We could easily hit it with that. But, you know, we are able to get it. So you can see this hold this high above the target. Here's the top of the target here. I'm holding clear up in here. So, what do we learn from that? We definitely need to hold above our target at range. All right guys, let's talk about our final fundamental which is moving targets. I'm sure most of us know that we do need to get out in front of a moving target. If we were to aim directly at it, we're not going to hit it too many times. We're shooting where it was, not where it's going to be. So that's the trick. Shoot where he's going to be. Knock down those moving targets. Of course, with the speed increase, we have to increase our uh, lead distance and knock down those targets. So make sure when shooting at a moving target, you want to get way out in front of it. Now, if he's moving away from you at an angle, you need to lead in front of and in the direction left or right that he's moving. So if he's moving kind of towards this barrel from over here, this direction, I'm going to mirror that. I want to get out. Of course, if he changes directions, I got to mirror it the other way. You just want to get out in front of your target and knock him down. So, I hope this helps you guys. Just some basic fundamentals. Remember, ADS, stop, get a good spread on it. Don't want to come out firing. That's just going to increase your spread. You want to stop, pause, and fire. And, of course, when shooting at range, we want to aim above our target to counter that bullet drop. And when we have moving targets, we're going to shoot in front of them. 
So, hope it helps, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, throw it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.